sometimes. You're looking to discover one thing, and you find something else. I just want to fix my friends. I know that you guys were at Comic Con. I don't know if you have any crazy interactions with the fans. Well, we did an interview with Fandango, and they gave us a lot of carts that had a lot of money on them to go see movies. I took it out on the street when I got a coffee and I gave my $500 card to a family. They were very unappreciative. <laughs> they, I think it's because yeah. I went to them in my kind of English way. I'm kind of quite loud as a person, quite aggressive like, when I like, <laughs> start talking. And I think they were scared of me and didn't know. I, I thought I think they thought I was gonna like mug them mm -hmm. or them or them. Or ask them. So it didn't money. quite work out. I wanted to like give back because I think Comic Con's very much about the fans and everything. Not so much a great interaction. If they had known you were the thing, I think it would have been a very different like, reaction. <laughs> you promised me you wouldn't use my kids as weapons. You think you've had power and it, do you? You don't know anything about what's coming. What is coming? Doom. I wanted to know, did you watch the other two movies that have been already done? I saw, I've seen like a few scenes just on TV when the movie's on, but I haven't seen them all the way through now. This is totally different. You have these superpowers that are, for you are more than a curse. I, mean, I think all the powers are reflections of who they are as human beings, which is kind of set up in the first half of the film. They're just exaggerations of what's happening inside the character. My character has had a fairly tough upbringing, you know, doesn't come from an affluent household, you know, feels like he has to protect his friends, and he very much becomes that after the uh, after the accident. And Sue, before the accident, is pretty shy, and uh, she's very focused on, on, on science and her work, and sort of closed off from other people, and so it's fitting that she then becomes the invisible woman. Impatient, passionate, and emotional, doesn't quite think everything through, and I think that kind of translates to, you know, Johnny in the fire. He's stronger than any of us. He's not stronger than all of us. 